Hello, my little snakes. This is the Dark Lord's Hour, and I am your host and Lord Voldemort. Things are starting to get exciting, aren't they? Happy February and happy 1996. I am sorry that I have not had the time for a little heart to heart, my little snakes, but I have been otherwise occupied. I trust that you have already read all about it. Bellatrix and the rest are back. The Azkaban Chain Gang is now simply the Voldemort Gang, or Death Eaters, as they prefer that I call them. I read in the Daily Prophet that they think Sirius Black did it. Ha! Just like they also keep saying that he's straight. Am I right? I can only tell you, my little snakes, a Gryffindor might be able to break themselves out of Azkaban and the sexual constraints of their heteronormative culture, but it takes a true Slytherin to break out the entire Azkaban chain gang. You know, Bellatrix and the rest, who we won't talk about for budgeting reasons. I can't tell you how delighted I am to finally have some good, somewhat sane company again. Gone are the days of guests crying over dead teenage crushes, and back are the days of kicking muggle babies for sport. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I'd love to talk about my new kicking method, which I'm sure will win me the victory in our next competition, we do have standards on this show in terms of content. And Bellatrix's badger-looking sister said that talking publicly about kicking babies might alienate people, blah blah blah. So, instead, it appears it is time to look at a new wizard product, so you can know what your Dark Lord advises you to purchase as a loyal pureblood consumer. Now, for this week's product, we are taking a closer look at Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Now, I know, I know, my little snakes, you have probably already tasted these pebbles of gelatin and sugar, but does anyone ever consider whether or not they are actually worth eating? No! So today I will be the judge of that. Now let's see... I got one that tastes like chocolate pudding. <laughs> ah, earwax. That's better. Well, my little snakes, for a novelty item, this certainly is fun. I will be pranking the former Azkaban chain gang with the worst tasting ones later tonight. However, it will take a certain type of idiot to buy these more than once. Only about the third of the flavors are good. The rest taste like buttered popcorn or strawberry. If I wanted to have it worse, I would just be a muggle. So your Dark Lord does not endorse Birdie Butt's every flavor beans as more than a novelty sweet. It is disgusting, and if you like them, you should be very, very ashamed of yourself. Now, I believe it is time for a word from our sponsor. Mm. Mm. Ew. Oh, what fun it is to eat birdie butts every flavor beans. Eat them for birthdays, eat them for Christmas, eat them for snack time, 
and eat them for breakfast. Every day is a birdie butt's day. The perfect go-to snack for every craving you might have. Birdie butts and refrigerator beans are sold in a variety of stores across the UK. Whoops, didn't get the memo on that one. Oh well, good thing they already paid for the ad. Am I right, my little snakes? Now, I believe it is time for my favorite segment of this show, my little snakes, Voldemail. Your opportunity to write and ask for my intelligent and most welcome advice. Well, my good listeners, only one letter has been written to me for today. I can honestly tell you that I am very disappointed that you do not write more. I know you're all a bit shy, but I want attention. I want to help you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, to the letter. Off, get off, get off. Dear customer, thank you for your order of 12 jars of Eternal Elixir Anti-Wrinkle Cream enriched with vitamin E and pixie dust. Your order will arrive by our mail within the next 1 to 54 business days. We own Whiskers Barbershop. Oh, um, I see that I have gotten Lucius Malfoy's mail by accident. He has been getting rather wrinkly the last while. He looks like the prune I left out last Monday. It usually worsens whenever he spends time with Draco. I can't blame him. Well, that, of course, also explains why I didn't get all your letters and fan mail, my little snakes. I would look forward to reading them next time, then. Would you look at that? It appears it is time for our pure bloodling fun corner, for all my special and even smaller little snakes listening. Now, the magical creature Valdi will teach you about today, my tiny snakes, is the Dementor. The Dementors are creatures that have gotten quite a bad reputation, my little snakes, and that is all due to how the Ministry are treating them. Those creatures are incredibly resourceful, efficient and cost-effective. They also fit my aesthetic rather nicely. They have been used over and over again by the Ministry to guard Azkaban for centuries. But what thanks do they get? Where is their Christmas bonus? I trust they will soon find out that not all will think ill of them. I, for one, would love to become better friends. It might just prove to be mutually beneficial, if you know what I mean. So while only your talented and most clever Lord Voldy should approach these creatures in the wild, my little snakes, your Dark Lord certainly believes that they are creatures of potential and you should think so too. Now, I believe that is all we have time for this time, my little snakes. Goodbye, and stay feisty and mildly poisonous until next time. Bye. Thank you for listening. The Dark Lords Hour podcast is a fan-made Harry Potter parody created by the Pixie Focus. If you want to find out more, or do you simply prefer to look rather than listen, now that touch and smell are out of the question, then head on over to youtube.com slash pixiepogus.